Hello and welcome to this episode. Today we are going to learn how to create the texture from scratch in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Before we go any further, I would like to request you to kindly subscribe to my channel because that way you will not miss any video from me. Alright, so in order to create the texture from scratch in Adobe Photoshop, all you need to do is create a new blank document. Let's say 9020 by 1080 resolution 72 pixels and press OK. Alright, and let's create a new blank layer and this time we are going to use the brush tool all right so select the brush tool and from this brush presets which are available you can choose any brush you want so i'll take this one which is the pre-installed chalk 60 pixel all right it is available in all the photoshop versions all right and press d for default and it is that way it is going to turn to black and white and now increase its size and start painting anywhere else but at the moment it's not working so let's come to the brush presets options and over here change its shape dynamics click over here and click the size zitter to 100% and angle and here we can see the preview and angle to this way and now let's come to the scattering and select both axes and that bit is going to scatter on both the sides and increase the scattering let's say this one and you can increase the count let's say count two and now let's come to the uh, transfer option and from here increases opacity to 50 percent so that way what it is going to do it is going to make some strokes darker and some strokes lighter with 50 percent opacity and similarly with the flow we can increase that as well so some will some strokes would be of 48 percent flow you can choose anything randomly okay so let's say 55 percent and just close it down and now start painting on the layer and it is going to add some lovely texture to the image okay and if you want you can choose different colors as well so let's take this color okay and now let's create a new layer and this time we'll select another brush and let's say maybe uh, this will take this default brush which is of 100% hardness and again go to the brush options and from here brush tip bring the spacing maybe around here and shape dynamics size it to 100% angle there is no need to do that and roundness let's make it something like this and select the scattering and select both axes and scatter it to again 1000 persons count maybe two and come to the texture and this time we are going to select any texture let's say this one and scale it let's bring its brightness increase the contrast and let's come to the transfer panel again opacity it has already selected our last last default values which we have selected and let's say wet as is let's see what it looks like okay select wet as is and now using the default color again black we'll keep on painting all right and let's create another layer and this time we'll paint with the white so let's paint with white and let's choose another color let's say this one okay and let's choose another color
let's take this color all right and you can experiment with different brushes and you will get the different result and now you can see it has created a texture and now we'll create a merge copy of it so in order to create a merge or stamp copy all you need to do press alt control shift e or command option shift e if you are on mac so it is going to create a merge copy of all these layers all right and now we'll go to the filter and select filter gallery and on this filter gallery we can choose different options so let's say on the texture we can select crack line or maybe this one is looking good and you have other options like grain and mosaic tiles patchwork and texturize you can choose anything and i think i would go for crack line and you can adjust its spacing all right and its depth as well if you want more depth you can increase it and cracking brightness as well so let's see i think this one is looking perfect and press ok and now our texture is ready we can use this texture as an overlay on any image or you can use it for creating any text on this texture and it is going to look very very professional and it's very easy to use we have just created it from the scratch we have not used any image over here so isn't that awesome so thank you so much i hope you like today's episode and you have learned something very useful from this tutorial and if you like today's episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos all right and if you want to learn more you can visit my website www.harshwardenart.com you will find a link to that in the description section below and i would request you to join my facebook group which is called the lens of you where you can ask any question or you can share or promote your work and you will get lots of offers on that group as well regarding photography and photoshop items all right so thank you so much see you in the next episode till then bye bye